Well, it is time for our weekly mayor's chat and time to check in with St. Catharines Mayor Walter Zenzik. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. No problem, Bob. Great to be here. Yeah, good to have you. So, uh, well, you know full firsthand that COVID-19 is certainly still with us. Uh, of course, I'm glad to see you recovered as well. But Niagara's top doctor told the uh, Chamber of Commerce in Niagara that the uh, summer street closures for patios should be expanded to help prevent uh, COVID-19 spread this summer. Is, is this something being considered? It is something that we're already doing. So what we did in the budget last year was we extended the relief for restaurants to apply for their patio permits to facilitate the 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 approval process and also to waive the fees so you know we saw what the impact was of having our streets animated having our restaurants expanded and really just getting people outside so i think what dr herji is encouraging people to do is get outside have restaurants with their outdoor patios and it really does it really does change the impact of covid 19 because as we've seen with all the science the more that we're outside the more that we're getting fresh air the less likely we will get that COVID-19 and we can start breaking the chains of transmission. So we're ready here in the city of St. Catharines. Our patios, as soon as Brian says that the sun's going to come out, our patios are going to be ready. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Are there um, other areas where the program could be expanded? Well, we have in our downtown, we're going to be having street closures again, just like we've done last year mm -hmm. and the previous year before that. So the, the downtown association has a lot of activation taking place this this upcoming summer and including places like Port Luzi, You're going to be seeing, again, more expansion of the patios and it's just getting people outside. And we've got the return of a lot of events in our parks. So Montebello Park has a lot of festivals coming back, our rib festivals coming back. So you're going to you're, just by nature, Bob, you're going to have people more and more outside and again, if we can do that, and if more communities can do that, I think it starts to change people's habits about how they see dining in the summertime. Dining in the summertime should be outside when Brian says that the sun's going to be shining. Right. Okay, we've got uh, Earth Day tomorrow. Um, tell us about the city cleanup uh, events uh, surrounding Earth Day. Yeah, it's been it's been a challenge this this past spring and winter. There's been a lot of increased windstorms, and when you see those windstorms, there's a lot of clutter and litter that get into our parks and ravines. And so, this Saturday, there's going to be cleanups in neighborhoods across the city, and the city's participating by helping to to pick up all of the garbage bags and the recyclable bags that'll be available for our public. But we're really encouraging people, including including young kids, to go out with their parents clean up as much as possible so that we can return our parks and our ravines to a, to that clutter-free space that we all enjoy. Yeah, by the way, speaking of winds, Brian says there's another uh, wind warning too, but we'll see how St. Catharines <laughs> is impacted. Is St. Catharines uh, impacted? Yeah. Yep, St. Catharines as well. So, Thanks, yeah. Brian. <laughs> yeah, got to tether stuff down, Walter. Uh, there's a, a regional job fair coming up. Next Thursday? Yeah, and what we're next next Thursday at the Meridian Center, there's in, here in downtown St. Catharines, a regional job fair. A lot of businesses from different parts of the region are going to be there. It's a great place for students. It's a great place for people who are looking for employment opportunities. And what we've heard from the Chambers of Commerce and the businesses is that there is a lot of employment vacancies right now, Bob. So this is a great opportunity for people to explore and, and choose the job that they really want to get passionate about but the reality is there's a lot of job openings right now and we got to fill those openings okay uh, before we go just some uh, city business there's a, a new bylaw to uh, better manage land use on uh, boulevards and uh, unopened uh, road allowances so what does this actually mean and what you really see in a lot of boulevards is the opportunity there for the again the city to better manage with the residents what the space is going to look like when it comes to our city property so the boulevards are city property so it's a bylaw to help manage when people want to plant flowers they're not planting things like tall grass that really block right. the pedestrian and vehicle traffic so we're just trying to manage that in a better way okay oh and by the way by the way wait till i get to this too the seventh annual mayor's poetry challenge is open <laughs> yeah we have our poetry challenge open this year's theme for april because this is Poetry month, month in our country. This year's theme is Transform Unity. It's all about the Canada Games and bringing people together. And so we want poems that are focused on sport and what sport does to bring community and people together. And so, you know, go check out the city's website. It has all the information. But we're looking for poets of all styles and natures and ages. So it is a great opportunity to get your creative cap on 
and come up with some poetry. Okay, fantastic. And uh, we'll link up the city website for uh, that and lots more. Good to talk to you. We'll chat again next week. St. Catharines Mayor Walter Thank Zanzig. Thank you very much.